So I'm wondering how many of you watching this video are looking at the summer months ahead and thinking, I'm just going to get through one more summer vacation with the kids and then I'm going to tell my spouse that I think it's time to move in a different direction. So I want you to know if that's you, I can totally relate because I had actually two summers like that and they were six years apart, but the decision to actually say the words, like I think we need to move in a different direction is not something that you take lightly. And for me, it was six years in between the first summer where my spouse and I had a fight over something stupid, but it was so stupid and so irrational and so symptomatic of a pattern that I was starting to see in my relationship that it was the first time that I looked at myself in the mirror and I can still see it today. I just looked at myself and said, I'm going to get a divorce. And then of course, like as so many of you can relate to, like things calm down, we fall back into the status quo. I had a very small, like eight month old baby at the time. And so I was, you know, hoping things would get better. And then we fall into the patterns of raising kids and, you know, life takes over. But six years later, my second summer aha was so funny to me, but it just in the way it came about is something normal, right? Like we weren't fighting. We were keeping all the balls in the air and my girlfriend like was teasing me, really giving me a hard time because I had never read Fifty Shades of Grey. And as I sit here, I can't remember the author of that book, but I'm sure you all know it. And I was like, I'm not going to read it. Like, I, you know, I like to read like historical fiction and stuff with more depth to it. But she was like adamant. No, it's not all just about the smut. Like you need to read this book. So I'm sitting at the pool at the YMCA, not anything fancy, just kind of, you know, watching the kids secretly reading this, this book. And I was enthralled because not because of the, the smut aspect, you know, which is, I guess, okay for a summer read, right? But the way that those two characters felt about each other and the way the author described their connection, it was like blew my mind. And so then that led to another series of conversations with friends where they, I was saying like, I can't relate to this at all. You know, this is not at all what is I have experienced in my marriage really ever, certainly not in the last five years. And they all were saying to me, like, th that was the part of it where we don't talk to each other about these things. So we don't know that what we're living is not necessarily normal. And when I talked to girlfriend after girlfriend who said, no, you know, I have that with my husband, I was able to see like, oh, this really isn't what I have isn't really what marriage is supposed to be. And it wasn't until we moved forward and like we actually separated that I realized, oh, you know, what you see on TV in terms of romance and connection, that actually people can write that because they've actually experienced it. It's not just fantasy Hollywood stuff, you know, in the Hallmark greeting card section, whereas all this, you know, one card after the next about the how important your husband or your wife is to you. I used to like literally roll my eyes at them when I was trying to pick out cards. Like none of them were um, really authentic to anything that I was feeling. And then it was after I'm separated, I'm like out in the dating world a little bit. I'm like, oh, people do actually like that's a thing. Like people can write those cards because people actually feel that way about other people. And so 
summer for me has always been a time of transition and reflection. And if you're in that spot, just know that you're not alone, that many other people obviously are struggling with these same emotions, these same fears. And it's just really using this time in the summer where hopefully your pace is a little bit slower um, to really make some decisions, whether or not you decide to get through one last family vacation or you decide to say something before that vacation, definitely know that it's really, if you look at this moment as a time of transition, you'll get to the other side and really have the ability to create the life that you envision that I promise you is not fiction. Like you can actually do it. Um, you just need to, you know, really gather your courage and be willing to have that first conversation with your spouse. And I know how scary that is. Obviously, if anybody needs any help with that, definitely reach out and we can do a quick call. Um, even in my Facebook group, if you're not in my Facebook group already, there's a whole series of videos about how to have that conversation with your spouse. So there's lots of free resources there. So enjoy the summer, spend some time, you know, soaking up some solitude if you want, quality family time with your kids, have some fun and um, hang in there.